So we are somewhat fresh off of the midterm elections last November in the United States, where the Democrats and the Biden administration managed to survive a complete blowout in that election. But just a few short weeks later, and look where we are. The Biden administration is absolutely in emergency panic mode because of this discovery of classified documents that have been held by Biden in a variety of locations. And I'm sure if you're keeping up with this story, it seems like now every few hours, there's a new headline that says more documents discovered, five more documents discovered, three more documents discovered. Lawyers move into this location and guess what? They found even more documents. So this is a scandal that is blowing up and up and up and seemingly getting a bit out of control. But what is really going on here and what are the nuances of this particular problem from a geopolitical angle? Let's take a look. And I've got around three or four key points that I think we can use to help explain what is going on here. I'm Stuart Hooper, a lecturer in political science and PhD researcher. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here to the channel where I'm always looking at these big mainstream news stories, but from a very critical angle that you are actually never probably going to hear on the mainstream media. So be sure to subscribe if you are new here and you can also follow me on other social media channels at the links below. Now, there are three key points that I think are worth covering for this particular story and this particular scandal. The first one being we have to examine what it actually means to have a classification system. Why would you bother to classify these documents in the first place? Well, we all know the mainstream explanation to this question, which is, well, these documents contain vital government secrets and that all-important term that we've heard again and again and again since 9-11 in particular, national security. Well, unless we have secrecy, our national security will be threatened. Now, in some cases, is this going to be true? Yes. In other cases, is that going to be true? Absolutely not. And in fact, what we see is the classification system on government documents, not just in the United States, but in lots of Western democracies, being used and abused, really, to cover up things that go on involving our governments that they really don't want us to know about. Our governments in the Western world exist in this precarious position of, well, we are democracies and we're free societies and we allow people to say and do what they want. And we are absolutely accountable to the people and we will always do what the people want us to do. Well, as we have seen now in many, many, many scandals, the biggest one I think that's worth mentioning, which I just had an academic journal article published on this late last year, back in November, Look at WikiLeaks. Look at Julian Assange. What did they do? They published these so-called classified documents, which were, again, if you ask the government, this is a massive security issue. This is the end of the world. Sources and methods. Right? This is the big one that is also thrown around. Like anybody cares whether or not a security camera is static or if it moves from 45 degrees from one angle to another. It's just ridiculous. But what did those documents actually show us? They showed us that the rhetoric, that the framing that the whole ideological foundation of American foreign policy, which at the time was, we're going around the world and spreading freedom and democracy and ending dictatorships and securing the world from weapons of mass destruction. Most of that was a complete lie. Most of that was built on a set of fabrications, um, really a tissue of lies, which didn't take too much to rip apart. And when you look behind that, you see the reality of what American foreign policy really is, which is death and destruction, and ultimately the death and destruction of lots of civilians. And the big case that WikiLeaks exposed was the collateral murder event, which, if you haven't heard about, 
There's a lecture video on my channel on the front page um, where I talk about that in detail and this whole instance. So this is the real reason why this classification system exists. It exists so our governments can continue to lie to us and keep up this facade that they are apparently working in our interests and they are absolutely accountable. This couldn't be any further from the truth. And this brings us to the second main point for Biden and these classified documents. If you are in the US military, and you somehow leak or take home or access even classified materials through some unsecured source, maybe your own personal phone as opposed to a government-issued laptop, this sort of thing, guess what happens to your military career? Guess what happens to all of the many benefits that you would have gotten as a member of the US military? We're talking free healthcare, free university education, all of that, goes away immediately. Dishonorably discharged, that's the end of your career, that's the end of your benefits. It's over for you, the average Joe on the street who joined the US military. Maybe you made an honest mistake, but that's it. We now have three big time instances of where political elites have done this. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Let's be equal opportunity critics here. And what's happened to these people? Absolutely nothing. A slap on the wrist, if that. Now, this helps, I believe, to produce an idea that the United States has a two-tiered justice system. Are you part of the in crowd or are you not? Are you big and important in politics, in economics, in the military, in media even? Are you big in any of these realms? No big deal. We'll let you off the hook. Maybe, like I said, a slap on the wrist, but no real problems for you. Continue living your life. Continue being a millionaire. Continue having all of this power and influence. But you, the average Joe on the street, the average member of the military, the average journalist, Julian Assange, if you get caught with any of this stuff, you're going to be thrown in a cell for years. You're going, to be extradi- you're going to be extradited to the United States. And you are going to never see the light of day again. This is not the image that a democracy wants to be promoting. And that is absolutely what is going on with these continued scandals. Now, last point, And this is going to come down to, again, what just happened with the midterm elections. We now have a Republican House. What can the House do? Begin impeachment hearings. I think this is a matter of potentially hours, days, maybe weeks, until the Republican House moves towards impeachment of Joe Biden on this issue. Is this going to achieve anything? No. Is Biden going to be convicted in the Senate? No. Is this going to completely tie up any progress that the American government could actually make on any other issue that actually matters? Yes. This is going to grind the government to a halt once again on a scandal, which is really a non-issue for the most part. Um, And again, we have all of these big commentators on both sides and all the rhetoric flaring up around this. In the grand scheme of things, as we sit in a world with hundreds of thousands of homeless people on the street, crumbling roads, crumbling bridges, wars around the world, the brink of nuclear war, the brink of World War III, is it really smart for us to be focusing all of our time and attention on this? I don't think so. We need to take a far more critical approach to this issue. We need to understand the real reason why our governments classify so-called secrets. Um... This is the reality of this particular issue. This is what we need to be concerned with. And one final point. Democracies of, by, and for the people. We're going to use your taxes to build a society that you love, that you're going to enjoy, that's going to be beneficial for you and your family and your future. Well, if that's true, why don't you show us all of the receipts? What precisely are you doing with all of our taxes 
What are you doing behind the scenes? What are you refusing to show us and tell us about? If these are really democracies, we need a lot more transparency than we currently have. Thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. I'll be back with a lot more real soon. I'm now on a schedule where I'm going to be capable of producing videos on a very frequent basis. And there's a lot that I currently want to talk about. So be sure to subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and other social media at the links below. And I'll be back with more in a couple of days.